Welcome to this tutorial on importing an Excel document into EndNote. In this tutorial, we'll be going through three steps. First of all, you're going to open up your Excel file in Excel, and I'll show you how to make a couple of modifications to that file. Then you'll save it. Then step two will be to open that saved file in Word, do a couple other minor modifications, and then save that as a text tab delimited file. Finally, what you will do is you will import that tab delimited file into EndNote. So those are the three steps. Let's get started with step one, which is modifying your Excel document. Now, here we are in our Excel document, um, and we're going to go through the steps to modify this so that we can get it into EndNote. First thing to do is go up to your first row and highlight it. Go up to the Insert menu and insert a row. And then in each column, we're going to insert the name of the field. First column is author, then year, and each of these are EndNote specific fields. EndNote has to be able to recognize these. A title, a journal, spelling does count, volume, issue, and pages. When we're done with that, when we've inserted our field names, we're going to go to File, and we're going to save this as, save it to the desktop, and we're going to, let me move this over, and see it, we're going to actually save this as Bibliography Records 2 as a tab delimited, text tab delimited is your choice, and I am going to override the existing one. And now we're free to quit Excel and go on to our next step. Okay, we're ready for step two. Here we are in Word. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the text file that we saved from Excel. Here it is on our desktop. We'll go ahead and open that. Next thing you want to do is go up here and find the um, Show Hide formatting command and if that you want to display that that's the first step uh, next step go up to in front of the author hit return and what you want to type is exactly this star journal article and that's for EndNotes purposes our next step is two formatting changes we need to make so that EndNote is able to properly interpret and import this file. Uh, the first thing we need to do is find all instances of the word and showing up in the author field and replacing that with a symbol. In this case we will use the double backslash. The other thing we need to do is find and replace all quotation marks. Now to make both these changes we go to the edit menu and go to replace type in the word and, and we type in the double backslash, click on find next, make sure that you are replacing the word in the author field but not in the title field, so you have to kind of go back and forth, and then and we're done. Same thing for quotation marks, only we're going to put in find what quotation marks and just replace that with a null field and go replace all. And it will replace all of them. We can close out of that. Go ahead and save our file. And we're ready to go on to our next step. Okay, we're now ready for our last step, which is importing that text file into EndNote and this is how we do it. We go up to the file menu and we go to import and first step import data file. We choose file. We're going to go to our desktop and find our saved text file right there. Uh, under import option you go to your list of filters and select tab delimited. If you don't see it here go to other filters but it just happens to be right there. Under duplicates you can choose to import all or discard duplicates. Um, in this case it's a fresh library. So we go import and there we are. And we'll open up one of these just to make sure 
author, year, title, journal, issue, pages, it all looks quite good. So we have successfully imported the saved Excel file into EndNote. If you have any further questions about what we've covered in this tutorial or anything else having to do with EndNote, uh, Man Library does support it, so feel free to contact us. And thanks for tuning in.